Waiting for the last flight. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the departing area for flight 336 to About to board. Hey, Grams. Almost there. Ten minutes from landing. Check it out. Can't believe it. After all these years, huh? Watched a movie, Shazam, it was great. And the flight was empty. So I got a whole road of myself. It was, it was perfect. Starting off on a good leg, I guess. Um, but that's about it. I love you. Hope you're good. I'll call you as soon as I land. And uh, I'll do another video for you. Probably when I get more settled in, in a few days or so. We do have a few of those applications Just available landed. up front. Here. As you are leaving the aircraft, please feel free to take one for you, one for a friend, one for a loved one. Thank you. Made it. Woo. Can't believe it, I made it. Heather Grams. And hey world, I got a few subscribers over the last four days or so. Don't know who you are, but um, magic for YouTube, I guess. I've uh, been thinking about turning this into a vlog anyway, so I guess I will now. Um, but welcome to Mission Control One. I'm here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm David Hall. Hi. Uh, I'm from technically here, I guess, Hawaii. I moved away with my mom when I was one to California. And then when I was six, I went to live with my grandma in Arizona and um, been there ever since. So um, I'm kind of, I'm basically from Arizona. But I'm back out here to do school, University of Hilo. And I don't start till after Christmas time, January. So I thought I'd come a few months early and check out the island, do some adventuring. A little add-in for those of you in the YouTube world uh, who are not my grandma. Um, my grandma does not have a smartphone. So I'm uploading these videos so she can see a little of what's going on from her computer, keeping her up to date. And now I guess it will be uh, my very own vlog as well. So, welcome to David's vlog or David Hall's vlog. Which one? Welcome to David's vlog. Uh, the place is nice. And Auntie K is nice. Uh, she's a little off dementia, getting older, but uh, she she seems happy to have me here. I think. I'm just glad I can help her with some things, and um, I'm happy to help, too. But this house, uh, for those of you I'm staying at, was my parents' house, I guess. Uh, but after my mom and I moved away, my auntie and uncle bought it and have been living here since. Uh, my auntie Kay has the upstairs, and I have the downstairs. I spent the last four days fixing it up, but it was nice. It was mostly already furnished and even decorated. I guess Uncle Joe turned it into a den or man cave before he passed away. Um, how did he escape Auntie K? <laughs> um, nah. um, here, let me show you around though. Let me turn this on. Hello? 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 Oh, and the hat has come in super handy. My new favorite. And the Stranger Things for a flashlight. Hilarious. I love it. It's so cool. It looks straight out of Stranger Things. A radio that actually works. And a flashlight. I'm going to be using this for sure. And a tape deck, whatever that is. <laughs> it's awesome. The fact that these are his is super special. Thanks, Grams. Um, but here, let me show you around. Here's my computer. Computer area. Uh, got my salacious crumb. 
Nice. I got a lava lamp at Target yesterday. Figure I'm in the right place for it. Can't wait to check out some actual lava caves. Got my bed here. Uh, two bathrooms here. There's a little bathroom connected to the bedroom. But in the, in the living room and kitchen area, there's a main bathroom, a large one. I'll do some morning reading out here. That's, here's the living room. Uncle Joe spared no expense. When he got this TV. It was here. It's huge. It's perfect. And he had some pretty darn good taste in movies. We got Star Wars here, Indiana Jones, uh, Jaws here, and some Friday the 13th here. Doing some vacuuming. Here's a closet here. And then here's the bathroom here. It's a little messy. Uh, I'm not sure what this couch is. So you have a a good view of the bathroom or something. Beautiful. Beautiful. Check out the fish tank area Uncle Joe made. Uh, it's a little run down, but I'm gonna fix it up. I already got the filter stuff in there that I'm working on. Once I get it going, I think it's gonna be really, really cool. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili's baby back. Been watching Bunch of Office, of course. There's no chilies out here, uh, but they got an Outback on the other side of the island, I think. And there's a super good place at the mall called Zippy's. Here's the kitchen. It's nice and big. Uh, I've been doing some cooking. And what place wouldn't be complete without a real creepy storage room that Auntie K has filled to the brim? I'm not sure what all that junk is in there, but I just leave it alone. Fruit basket. Um, just kind of got to throw that out. Ooh, yucky. Yucko, yucko. I should have been turning kind of quick, the fruit. But come outside here. Got my... Creepy place number two, the laundry area here. Okay, uh, got stairs here up to Auntie Kay's. I brought her paper this morning. She was watching some Judy Garland movie. Up there's a old shed behind the house. Creepy area number three. And here's the house. So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna finally go to the beach tomorrow because believe it or not, I haven't even been yet. Been settling in and all. But I'm settled, I'm here, I'm on the beach tomorrow. And sometime it's next week, I'm gonna check out the school and then start doing some adventuring. But uh, love ya, miss ya, Grams, and, and love ya, miss you, world and everyone. And I hope you're all good and uh, we'll talk soon. See you tomorrow at the beach. It's a beautiful morning here at the beach. I'm trying this buble. You see that commercial, the Super Bowl commercial? Michael Buble, bubbly, buble. I think from now on we should refer to Michael Buble as the boob. Not in a mean way, but I love Michael Buble. But in a cool nickname kind of way, the boob. <laughs> Um, but I am here. It is unbelievable. Incredible. It tells me I'm to something. Yeah, I've had that scene and that song from Naked Gun stuck in my head all morning. Uh, where they're running on the beach and they, they, uh, oh, there's dolphins out there. Holy moly, check this out. Whoa, there was tons of them. That was incredible. Uh, but I got my book, got my booble, my boob, got the dolphins. And I think I'm just going to stay here for the rest of the day. Hey, Grams. It's actually Monday. Uh, I'm still planning on going to the school Wednesday, but I thought I'd say a quick hi because I'm hanging up your favorite photo of mine. 
up on the wall here. Okay. So there's a pretty girl that lives across the street. I think she might actually be going to the same school I'm gonna be going to, UH Milo. Try say hi probably if the moment presents itself. Rather than creepily to film her from my room. <laughs> uh, but anyway. I'll try to give you a call right now if you're if you're up. You're up. Yeah, you're probably up. Uh, but love you, miss you, and I'll talk to you soon. School days, school days, dear old golden roll days. So I'm off, and it is another beautiful day here on the island. What's that? The trash? Sure, and TK, say hi. TK, I'm gonna go help her. She's walking back. Um, then we'll be off. Check out the school. Dropping almonds everywhere. Honey almonds. Yum. Here, it's cool. Check it out. I'll be walking these halls in a few months. Looks really nice. It's nice and like uh, cool, like uh, temperature wise. Just nice stone sculptures there. It ain't school or it ain't a nice property without some abstract art, right? Hmm. They got a big anaconda over here. Lots of peeps out. I guess it is a Wednesday. I guess it makes sense. Well, the library looks nice. Whew, this is nice. Check it out. This is huge. They got upstairs too. Second floor. It's a Christmas tree. Someone didn't really care or something. I thought it was gonna be like, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a punchline at the end of that or something like it's supposed to be upside down, but nope. Back in the, the lowdown. I should probably follow that group. Marshall Islands. That's next. So, I unpacked the GH4 finally. I thought it'd be fun if I did a little time lapse and filling up the fish tank. I got the fish here. I uh, got some new parts for the filter here. I'm gonna use this bucket one at a time. Trucking, trucking. Check out this gunk. There's an old roach in there. Disgusting. But anyway, I cleaned it and now it is time to fill it. Enjoy. So, it's done, and they look pretty happy. It feels nice having a fish tank in here, and it looks great. Here, let me get a wine. Look at that beauty. Brings it to life. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this time lapse. I'll see you later. It is October, and you know what that means. It means they're gliding along on the speeder bikes through indoor forest. Uh, no, you know what October means? I gotta show you something. Danger. I put up some decor. I only had enough to do my room, but I decked the room out pretty good. Sweet, huh? Danger. I got a little the pumpkins there. And then... Uh, 
And then I got this guy who's hilarious. These guys are pals. He's like, hey, what up, little sis? She's like, hi, brother. And then poor Salacious had to go up here. So they, the pumpkin took over his spot. Um, but that's it. I'm gonna do an adventure tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go to the waterfall. And then, uh... I think I'm gonna do another adventure Sunday as well. But I'll call you Grams and uh, uh, I'll let you know when they're up. All right, love you, love you. Talk soon, see ya. So, I made a pretty good joke today, I think. You guys wanna hear it? Uh, so in Hawaii, the word for good, I guess, is oh no. So, what did John Lennon say about the eggs? when he went to Hawaii. Oh, here we are. Okay, what did John Lennon say about the eggs when he went to Hawaii? Whoa, Yoko Ono. Oh Yoko Ono, oh get it? Uh, so, I'm on my way to the waterfall. Supposedly there's a cool swimming spot in the back of the waterfall, so. Just parked, got a good spot. Yeah! Made it. Okay, let's go behind and see if we can't find that swimming hall. Check this out. Stairway to heaven. Oh, I'm above the falls now. Check this out. Holy macaroni. Incredible. I guess this is the trail. Let's go, let's go for a swim. So I found this. <laughs> Auntie Kay's uh, shed there. It's old and rusty, but it's sharp. Hold on. Whoa, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the water. I think I'm getting close. This is awesome. In the back of the waterfall. Time to take a dip. Here we go. It's chilly. Well, that was absolutely amazing. Came in handy. <laughs> There's a handful of wild chickens around here. Oh, this one's a rooster, I think. Yeah, chicky, chicky, chicky. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Hold on, I'm gonna try to be his friend. Nice guy. Don't want to scare him too much. Okay, let's get on the road. Oh, cool, oh, cool. Rest of development. Went to a waterfall yesterday. It was super amazing. And now I'm on my way to some caves today. Got some protein puffs because who doesn't love puffy balls of protein they're actually pretty good okay i'm at the caves got awesome stranger things like dad you think there's chickens in here this is amazing Whoa. Whoa. this thing is huge I don't know how far back it goes. <laughs> awesome. Super cool. There's people back here. I don't know. Oh, gotta watch your step. Yeah. Gotta be careful, huh? There's cockroaches in here too. Oh, there's cockroaches in here? Yeah. Oh, gee. 
This thing goes super far back. It's so cool in here. Oh, pretty far back in. I should probably turn her, turn it around. Oh, it's kind of creepy. Oh. Check this out. What the heck is this? I found this. It's super old looking. Someone probably made it yesterday, but I don't know. It's cave gold. I'm gonna hang it on the wall. Some weirdos. Yeah, cool. So Mama's Tom had a great adventure today. Good food, some awesome caves. Got my cave treasure. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna go hit up some awesome val- oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, what? What did I do? What? Shoot. Shoot. What did I do? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get you help. I'm gonna get you help, okay? I'm gonna get you help. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yes. I hit a cat. I got some good news and some bad news. Good news. Little buddy. Good news is he's doing okay. I took him to the vet on Monday. And uh, they said he has some nerve damage from his paw here, which I guess is a common thing. Uh, they wrapped it up and said that It'll be about six months before we know if the nerves will heal and we'll have the use of his paw again. Hopefully, hopefully he'll get the use back in there. I still feel pretty bad. Um, I got him some food, though. Got him some litter. And I spent all day yesterday putting up flyers around the neighborhood here. Because uh, he wasn't microchipped, I guess. They usually are microchipped in the back of their neck these days. And uh, he wasn't, so I guess he'll be staying with me till somebody calls. Um, the good news is he's doing okay. Uh, bad news... Uh, can I go down, bud? Bad... Yeah? Okay. You all right? Bad... bad. Bad news is, uh, oh, bad news is my, my grams fell again. Uh, she's been falling lately and they decided that, uh, they decided that this week they're going to move her into a home. She's all that I got. She raised me. And oh, it's just a bummer. Excuse me. She'll be okay though. She uh I talked to her this morning and she 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 was good. She hurt her arm a little, but um, she's good. She, she's doing okay. Yeah. She's doing all right. She's going to be okay. But I'm going to continue doing these videos uh, for those of you who are watching. And, uh, and I'll be able to show her, um, I'll be able to show her in, in Christmas time when I go out there, so it'll be good. Um, it'll be good. I'm gonna shave though. I'm starting to look like a caveman. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go shave. 
But uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, I'll do another video sometime this week, and uh, keep you guys updated with a little buddy. All right, see you guys later. Another bad batch. So a little update. Talk to Grams. She's doing real good. Little Buddy's doing real good. I think I'm gonna call him Buddy or something. Little Buddy. Little Buddy. Um, and I'm I'm doing a lot better. Uh, oh, it's uh, it was a lot to take in the last couple days. But um, Grams is actually excited to go into a home. She said she'll make a lot of friends and gonna play bingo every night. For a second there, I thought about going back out, of course. My Graham said if I did that, she'd kill me. <laughs> um, but no, I, I just, I've been meaning and trying to come out here for the last four years for school, and finally I'm here, and it makes sense. And since she's, since she's doing so good, and seems like it's all good, and I'm gonna stay. And, yeah, things are good. It's good. I've uh, been playing a lot of NES Metroid. I plugged in the Raspberry Pi. Check it out. One of the best games of all time. I think I'm going to go through all the Mario's next. And then I'll talk about an adventure. Getting close. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys soon, though. Thanks for hanging. And, and yeah, we'll talk soon. Okay. So I was watching through my videos, and my one from Wednesday, and this is as freaky as it comes. Hold on. There's something standing in the so corner here, good. right there, the entire video. Let me. Okay. It's really dark, but at the end it moves and you can really see it. See, see, see there. Right there, right there. Hold on. It's right when I turn. Okay, here we go. This is freaky. It's freaking me out. I don't know what the heck. A lizard there, and that's cool. Freaky. So it's back. I talked to my auntie and she said there's this guy who creeps around the property every so often with some bum or some weirdo uh, but whatever it is he's been walking by this window for the last two minutes back and forth hello hey who are you what do you want Hello? Don't come around here. I'm gonna get you on video and you're gonna be in trouble. Hello? Hello? Did you see him? Did you see him? I don't know. I wanna get him closer on camp. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hello? Where'd he go? It's just here. Hey! Don't come around here! 
Stay away from here. Okay, I'm uploading the video right now. Something weird is going on here. Last night, I was sleeping in my bed. Somehow my computer turned on, my camera turned on, and the record button was pushed and stopped. I woke up this morning, and the video of me sleeping here last night was, was on my camera roll. I turn off my computer at night. I'm 100% sure this computer was turned off. That doesn't just happen here. I don't know what the heck is going on. I am genuinely freaked out. So, things are good. It's been a few days and nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, I think whoever it was is gone, hopefully. But I got a bone to pick with the world. I was eating a tuna sandwich the other day. I saw the dolphin safe tuna on the side that they all have. But I was thinking, what about the poor tuna fish? Everybody cares so much about the dolphins, but they don't think for a second about how the tuna might feel. Am I right though? Am I right? But, uh, but he's good. And a little buddy. And, uh, I think I'm gonna go run some errands. And then, uh, I think I'll, uh, probably go maybe on adventure, I don't know. But, uh, that's about it, though. I'll see you guys soon, and, uh, keep you guys updated. I just uploaded my last video. I don't know what the heck that was this morning. But what happened there wasn't human. And from now on, I'm gonna be sleeping with this by my side. Hear that? I'm gonna be sleeping with this. Better watch your back. Leave me alone. Look at this, look at this. After last night, I woke up to this. I don't know what this means. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm done. I'm done, I'm gonna figure this out. Happy Halloween. So I thought about this all day yesterday. I'm gonna do some research online and then go to the library later today. But I noticed this hanging here. I 
feel like all this stuff started when I brought this back from the cave. I don't really believe in this kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain some of this stuff. And I'm pretty freaked out. Okay. I'm gonna do a few things. A few more things here. And then head out. I'll keep you guys updated. So I found a lot of books on Hawaii folklore and Hawaii legend. And it, there's a lot in there about removing objects, rocks, and taking them. Even online, I found a lot of stuff online. So I'm bringing the thing back. Uh, it's got to be that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go downtown, see if there's a Halloween party. So, it's been a couple of nights. Auntie K has been rolling off her bed. Last night she woke me up with a good thud. Those ceilings are paper thin. But I went and helped her and she, she was fine. It's not a far drop, but besides that, Everything seems to be a-okay. I mean, nothing strange, so. Look, David, listen, thank you. But other good news, I drove to the other side of the island today and got myself a new beautiful machine. So these videos are going to be much, much nicer to look at. <laughs> this old phone, it was getting to the point where it would only stay charged for like two hours. And if it turned off, it would take almost a half a day or a whole day to get its charge back and have enough to stay on. It was horrible. This was a long time coming and it feels good. But I've been going through my book here and I think I'm gonna start doing some more adventuring now that things have calmed down. Yeah, that's about it though. Um, however and out, and next time you see me, I'll be in a much clearer, crisper image. So, little update. It's been raining the last two days. Tropical storm coming through, so I couldn't go out. <sighs> but today, uh, I get to do the next best thing, laundry. And, um, oh, sorry. <sighs> oh, sorry. <sighs> Um, let's do some laundry. So, my auntie said she's got some old 
Minolta lenses in the shed behind the house. I think I'm gonna go on a search for those after this. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. Go find those lenses. Are you seeing this? I gotta get out of here. So it's back. Or it never left. Or it's always been here. I don't know. I guess it's time to be real with you guys. Maybe with myself. I don't know much about my past. My grandma was always short when I brought it up and always kept it kind of hidden. I think to protect me or maybe to protect herself too. I know it affected her pretty deep. But what I do know, my parents moved out here a couple of years before I was born. My dad was super smart, I guess. A research scientist or something, doing his own work. I think he was up on Mauna Kea a bit with the telescopes. There's a lot going on with that now. But he did a lot with the land and the volcano and uh, lava caves, I guess, as well. Now, my dad passed away out here when I was one. It'd be different. <sighs> Sorry. They never told me how. Or why. But in the back of my mind, I remember my mom never really being all there. 
I mean, I moved in with my grams when I was six. I was pretty young. But my memories of my mother are just her with a lot of pain from that. She wound up being put in a psychiatric ward. A psychiatric, a psychiatric. And then ultimately committing suicide. Not long after. But my grams did such a good job of raising me through that. I mean, I am who I am because of her. <sighs> I would tell her what's going on here, but it would only scare her and hurt her. She doesn't like to talk about the past or anything concerning it. And believe me, I brought it up many times before. And it never goes well. But I was scared to come out here for so long. This was my parents' house. And this is where my father died. But I don't know. And I'm not a big believer in ghosts. Maybe this is my dad trying to connect or, or something. Welcome to my first live TV. I couldn't do it too easy before because my old phone was a piece of crap. But this new phone, it's super easy to do. I didn't get the end of Metroid, but I figured I'd get the end of Super Mario. magical ending. Did it. Dad! Dad! Is that you? Dad! online right now and I got this comment from this person I know it sounds crazy but I think it might be my dad trying to communicate with me look at this it's to you let me refresh
Welcome to my. I'm not our father. That we speak often together. What the heck? Our father. He's not dead. Harsh father. What the heck? What are you talking about? Who are you? back home. God. This is my home. How do you know my father? Okay. Leave. is this? It's crazy. Do you see this? Leave her be sorry. How do you know my father? What do you mean? He's not dead. Answer. Leave or be sorry. <laughs> How do you know my father? Talk. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. It's gone. I don't know what this is or how it knows about me or how it knows about my father. But whatever this is, it's threatening me now. But I'm not afraid, though. I'm gonna find this thing and I'm gonna find out the truth.
so I'm not sleeping in that room anymore. Picked up this cot, and I'm gonna start sleeping in here so I can have this camera rolling through the night, facing the doors here. I'll be able to see anything that enters or exits the house. I'm gonna keep my phone right here too, have instant access to that as well. I'm gonna start documenting this thing a lot closer. Because if it is connected with my father, or if any of the things that thing said are true, or the threats, these videos are gonna keep me safe. Or maybe help me reveal the truth of what's going on. I feel like this thing's messing with me. But deep down, I feel like it wants to hurt me. And I feel like whoever, or whatever this is, is the reason I lost my father. But it ain't gonna get me. I can tell you that for sure. Okay. And the door's open. What? Wait, buddy. Oh, buddy. Searching on here. Trying to find out any history on my family. There's nothing online. I'm gonna eat something. And then head over to the library. See if I can't find anything there. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't find much, but I found this. My dad never died. He went missing. According to this article, he went missing. I'm gonna go check the obituaries. There's nothing on that date that my mother and my grandmother told me in the obituaries. Do you see this? Something. 
something about having the camera rolling. That makes me feel a little safer. Do you care? Okay. Auntie K, are you okay? Did you fall? this old video of me and my dad. It's the only thing I got of him. <laughs> I don't even have any photos. There's me. Something happened in this house. With my dad and with this thing, whatever it is, I know it. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I set up a talk with my auntie tomorrow. I'm gonna find out if she knows anything. Okay. Was I born on this island? You, you were born in this house. In this house? In the bedroom. Auntie Kay, do you know what happened to my father? No. Did he die? No. Did, did he go missing? Yes. Has anything strange ever happened in this house or with my father? Anything strange or unexplained that you know of? No. 
Are you sure? Hiding something or doesn't want to talk about it or can't for whatever reason. My grandma was the same way. She never said anything. Everything's fine. Okay. You too. Bye. I'm gonna head out to the library. There's gotta be something there that I missed. Seems like the deeper I dig, the worse things get. I think I'm getting close to finding out the truth. I dropped Buddy off at the vet. They're gonna keep him for a couple days, but they said he's gonna be okay. You know, in Lord of the Rings, when Bilbo says he feels like not enough butter spread over too much bread, that's kind of... That's kind of how I've been feeling. I've been having bad dreams and just feeling heavy. I think that it's it. found something good. I found this article from July 21st, 1996. It was published by my father and about his research. He talks about starting out with the stars, but then moving down to the earth and in the caves and discovering microbial life forms trapped within the rock that thrive on iron, magnesium, and lime, the perfect situation in these caves and that organisms were still active even though they'd been slumbering within this rock for tens of thousands of years. And he also talks about theories and hopes from this discovery of finding new life forms further within the cave. Maybe.
I'm looking at this video of last night. And I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I'm standing there for over 20 minutes, for goodness sake. <laughs> and at one point, right here, it's like I'm looking at the camera. <sighs> Something was controlling me. <sighs> and has been. I've been feeling it more and more.
out of my brain. Get out of my brain. Thanksgiving. I was gonna have food with Auntie, but she wasn't feeling well, so I made this. I slept all day yesterday. I can't figure this out. I feel like my dad is alive. And this thing has him. I just don't know where to look. But every newspaper, every book, I've looked online everywhere, and there's nothing. I had a dream last night with my father in it. He gave me some shoes and he said, run. I don't know if he meant run away or run to him. Each day I'm feeling less and less like myself. And decay. And decay. Are you okay? Are you okay, Auntie Kay? My auntie I just left this box here. It has my father's initials on it. And look at these. Look at that. There we go. There's all of us. And look at this one. Look at this one. It's a photo of me and my father. He's holding me. But look at his arm. He has the same marking. The same that I have. He says here that he has all the information on this you hidden. It's all of my father's research, everything I need, he says, to expose it. Locations, coordinates, who knows what else. Maybe you can find him. But this information's hidden. I've been looking through. All this stuff. My father gave clues on where to go, but I can't figure it out. I think I might try his grave. It makes sense with what he's saying in here. And the fact that he didn't die, but he went missing. 
makes sense as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start there. Here it is. This is it. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a little deeper. There's nothing. There's nothing here. No casket, no nothing. Okay. 
Okay. And TK. And TK. Are you okay? We gotta get out of here. And TK? And TK? What the? I can't get out of here. initials this is it this has to be it he talked about beneath his grave four rocks he didn't die he went missing the house was his grave what was that As soon as the sun's up, I'm going back to that house. And I'm gonna find my auntie. And I'm gonna find my father's box. And I'm gonna find the truth and expose this thing.
sister. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna go over to the light. tape. Walter T. Hill. The contents of this package are concerning a creature. I call this thing you. It stands for unidentified. I thought it was on to a discovery in the stars, which is why we initially moved out here. But the discovery was actually in the earth, in the cave systems that engulfed this island. This thing was nice at first, then grew attached. Then became hostile. I believe they're building an underground network around the world. I have all the information needed. Everything you need to know is in this packet. Get this to the right people, and we can be prepared. If I go missing, look for me. Use the information in here to find me. This is Walter T. Where is it? Damn it. Where am I? Duck. Come on. What the hell? 
I'm not able to make phone calls. I have my old phone here too. And it's not working either. The call app won't even open. Where am I? But if he's to see if I can find some help. Hello? 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 My glasses! My glasses! Hello? No one around. If anyone is watching, I don't know where I am. Please help me if you recognize this place. Something is happening. They're locked. 